We need to extend the ban from great apes to all species of primate. It's time to end experiments. 96 of the 108 Nobel Prizes that have been awarded in medicine and physiology have been awarded to studies that have used animals on some level in order to be able to advance science. Experiments on primates happens in universities across the UK. Primates are only used in the UK when they are the most appropriate species for the questions that we're wanting to address with the scientific research that we're undertaking. The two types of species that are used in the UK are rhesus macaque monkeys and marmoset monkeys. Trying to get scientists to look past and the better alternative methods you'll find that they can be very conservative in their approach. We use these two species for two types of research. The majority are used for vaccine research. Over 80% of monkeys used in the UK have been used to help develop the Ebola vaccine, the Zika vaccine and tuberculosis research. Well, non-human primates are thinking, feeling animals and they feel pain and they suffer just as humans do. The least amount of monkeys used in the research in the UK is to do with neuroscience research, which is what I'm interested in studying. And for that, we're using monkeys and marmoset monkeys because they are the least species appropriate for the human condition to be able to understand how the human brain functions. Treatments that are studied in the UK relate to anxiety disorders, to depression, to schizophrenia, and also to neurodegenerative disorders like dementia, Parkinson's disease, and motor system dysfunction that's related to spinal cord injuries. There is no rhyme or reason for continuing to use primates in this way. They are fundamentally different to us. They're biochemical differences, physiological differences, metabolic differences, which really means that they are not representative of human diseases. In the UK we work to the very highest standards in terms of animal research and welfare. I'm uh, particularly proud of the work that we do. We continually have to refine but we also want to refine. We, we don't want our animals to be suffering and experiencing pain. We want them to be as happy and, and healthy as they possibly can be in terms of the, the research that we do so that we're collecting good data in order to be able to get uh, re reproducible and reliable results to be able to come up with developing and advancing our understanding of how the brain works. It's not just the procedures that cause this pain and suffering and these are experiments that are regarded by the Home Office which regulates experiments and primates is severe, so they call severe pain, distress and suffering. But it's the conditions in which primates are also kept in laboratories in UK. For the neuroscience research that we do in Oxford and across the UK, we receive our animals from a purpose breeding centre, the breeding colony at CFM, uh, and they come to Oxford and to the other primate centres around the UK. And there they're kept in socially housed groups, there's some videos online in order for you to be able to see them interacting with other monkeys within the within the unit. And like I said, they work, uh, have a team of animal technicians and veterinarians, and also the researchers working with them every day in order to be able to ensure their welfare. Humans have rights because we are susceptible to pain and suffering and to being exploited from those wielding more power than us. And that's exactly the same for animals. And that is why animals also deserve a life that is free from pain and suffering. The law in the UK for the use of primates in any research requires that we use the minimum suffering and pain in order to be able to complete the studies. So I work on a daily basis with a team of animal technicians and veterinarians who are employed in the primate unit in order to be able to ensure that the primate's welfare is at the maximum and the pain is reduced. And in order to be able to produce excellent research results, we need animals to be in the best possible uh, state of health and welfare in order to be able to get good science. So it's an ongoing team effort in order to be able to do that. And we're very proud of the work that we do in order to be able to make sure that the, the lives of the monkeys are the best possible they can be in the research environment.